Hello and welcome to WeBuyTheMotorCamera.com. Today we have got the stunning Eldis Majestic 155. This is based on the Eldis AutoQuest 155, but has the added extras that Marquis have put onto it. Starting off with that lovely silver cab, we have the Tule electric step, Omnister full length or nearly full length awning on the rear. We have the twin bike rack and the reversing camera just above. We have the door to the cassette toilet. As we go down to the side, we have the fridge vents or the, or the cooker vents, as well as the water inlet. Just below, we have the fresh water drain and behind the wheel we have the wastewater drain. These motorhomes come incredibly well specced. It is a four berth, four belted seats layout. Now this is one of my favourite layouts simply because it does travel four and sleep four. Now, I know this sounds daft but when you have those the, the French bed at the rear and you want the bench seats at the front for um, for lounging you can pop up the seats from underneath the bench and then you can travel the four people and that dinette also turns into a four berth or a double bed. Comes in at three and a half ton which means it can be driven on the restricted car license 567 kilograms of payload 7.12 meters in length 2.2 meters in width which means it is a lot wider, uh, sorry, a lot narrower than most of your low profile or coach built motorhomes, and it is 3.01 meters in height. Okay, so now we're inside, and I shall start with the front lounge. These two seats here do have the pop up forward facing seats which Eldis so well do. Eldis vouch that for every berth, they do have seats that will carry with belts. So what happens under here is two seats pop up with three point belts just for traveling. And then when you get to your destination, you have your nice spacious lounge. The driver and passenger seats also swivel around in this area. And I will show you if you were if you follow the link to the other Elders Majestic that we've had that we've reviewed recently, and there is a full demonstration of how the seat pops up and down. This area does also turn into a double bed, so it does sleep four and travel four. Lots of storage above, as we can see with the cupboard. It is also nice and bright with the two sunroof or skylights in the cab itself now this is where the majestics do do very well indeed they are built as standard on the 2.2 liter hdi engine which is made by peugeot with the 150 brake horsepower also with this comes the steering wheel controls bluetooth cruise control six speed gearbox climate control as you can see just below the satellite navigation itself, which is produced by TomTom. Tom. Reversing camera above. The lights are also automatically operated. And then we have also electric mirrors and windows, as well as the cab and, uh, sorry, the driver and passenger airbags. Again, above the, the cab area itself, we've got even more storage. Heading towards the rear, we have the kitchen with the Dometic fridge, oven grill, which has all been kept nice and clean. We do have the four hobs and sink just below, uh, just next door to it. And then above we have one storage cupboard and the day room microwave. Next to the habitation door, we have the whale heating controls, as well as the controls for the whole motorhome. 
for the lights, electric, awning light and water pump. And then in the rear corner we have the French bed. Nice spacious French bed. Storage below this area as well and you, you, it does come up and raise up on uh, gas struts as well as a little cupboard hole there. We do have a door that separates the bedroom area with a nice, and that is a full length wardrobe right there. Opposite the bedroom itself, we have a nice full length mirror with a couple of shelves. Something I do just want to show you as well, which I find really neat on these, is just to extend that kitchen area, we do have a nice slide out table. To finish off in the rear corner, we have the bathroom. Quite a small unit, but it is enough space to be able to actually sit down in the toilet for, the, for that bit of leg room. It's all one unit. Glass shower screen, cassette toilet, and then we have the drop down sink. As I have said earlier in this video, this is one of my favorite layouts especially if you want that French bed because it does give the versatility where you do have that nice lounge for sitting as well as having the option of the four belts without having the half dinette. If you have a motorhome to sell or if you want more information or have any questions, please get in touch by calling 01283 240 237. Visit webuyanymotorcaram.com and please don't forget to hit that big red subscribe button at the bottom right hand corner of the screen. Hey, you made it to the end of the video. Please press subscribe at the bottom or like if you're on our Facebook and watch the latest news and motorhome reviews. To find out more information, you can go on our website, www.webuyanymotorcaravan.com. Telephone us on 01283 240 237.